Hey family, I was thinking about because of this new year coming in and resolutions to be made and the things that I've been dealing with and that I've seen other people deal with in their lives and I feel like there's a strong need to address like what is guilt? Like we may feel guilty for like moving on from cutting people off for a variety of things and it's if you haven't done anything actually wrong the guilt you're feeling is is more closely related to like a shame of your and your ego because your ego your has been used to something for so long and to move away from that it gives you a sense of like a guilty feeling because you find yourself missing it or you may have a certain longing that has been fulfilled yet since leaving that situation. And that's fine because it's a healing process and we have to adjust to new circumstances that we put ourselves into. Especially if we choose to put ourselves into a new circumstance, into a new situation, out of a, a bad situation beforehand. Um, it's... It's gonna feel weird at first. It's gonna feel weird for a while to adjust. And don't beat yourself up about it because just know that you're adjusting to a new you, a new part of your life, a new how you perceive yourself and others. Um, for me personally, sometimes I feel guilt when I um, cause this is actually wrong to do is project my trauma or project negative emotion onto others or, uh, sometimes through project, a type of projection is assuming that others are thinking negatively about you or, or may betray you like others have done in the past. And while we're healing from these psychological dealings, it's just okay to just acknowledge that that happens and then use your own mental work to just like, I mean, or talk to a specialist and figure out how to get over these like stuck points and loops and um, things, places where our minds get stuck at. There's like a lot of things changing for many people in their lives. And don't feel guilty about doing better for yourself. Don't feel guilty for improving your own life because that's just what we're here to do. If you've done wrong in your past and you still carry guilt about it, talk to someone about it. Or do what you feel you need to do to like atone for that if you have if you need to find some way to atone for that in your soul in your spirit. Um and if you really haven't done anything wrong, but you just moved on, um, you need to do more self-care, more self-atonement. Apologize to yourself for those decisions that you made that put yourself in that bad position before. Um, that's all you can do at this point in the process because it's the past and you're in the present and for your future, for our uh, or yours or mine or anyone's future to like be to have a more positive outlook you have to just accept who you are accept your accept your changes as well accept your evolution and continue to make strides forward because like when like of course things in my mind like when Forrest Gump was running for the first time and those braces came off you know, it's like, it's like you've been living your whole life in braces and now you're like, whoa, this is like true walking now. And it's like, how did I end up there? And like, oh my gosh, am I even like a, a, a real person or, or am I um, truly healed? Am I truly ready to walk on my own? Um you get fear from this unknown future, this path that you're that we're on. And 
when um you start to like break free of these old illusions and so-called traditions and things like that um you really feel like you know you get start to get a little afraid that oh no i'm not here by myself whatever but you're not really out here by yourself because there's people just like you out here doing the same thing and people just trying to live their lives and we're just trying to especially if you have ptsd or some or other mental illness um paranoia can be a part of it and you get paranoid in this fear so because then you have all these layers of guilt and shame and uh fear and um hatred anger depression anxieties all these things layered up and then it starts to feel like others can see it, and that creates the paranoia because you can see yourself but other people really can't see you i mean they can't see you beyond what you actually show yourself to be so um there's no there's really nothing to worry about as far as that goes um that's something I've, I'm just, you know, sharing my personal channeling and try to help out. Um, so like, just practice being calm in public, in social situations, or just first, cause you have to find that calm within yourself to be comfortable in a social situation where the paranoia and anxieties don't rise up uh, and try to take over your mind. All these layers of negative emotions that have been built up for many years um, curates this shadow that looks o that looks over everything you do, and it's like as you're trying to like, you know, as we're trying to like move forward our path and do what we are destined to do, what we want to do, create the things we want to do with practice and journaling and the help of a specialist a help of a reading by the way i do do great psychological astrology readings book me today i um i also just you know with good support system of friendships you know whoever you can be intimate with um whether it's a person or a pet um it can help it's very grounding to just have that outside perspective of just like you know just just having someone just to say like yo i think i'm going crazy for a minute can, you, can i talk to you you know that is so helpful just anybody can i don't say anybody but people who are able to just listen and compassionately um are so valuable in this world and we have to practice doing that to each other more so i think i hope this message helps who needs who it needs to help because during this time of the year especially um it's the day after christmas today um a lot of these feelings uh, old feelings start to come up again because it's winter and all these things are dead and we're looking in we're scraping the ground getting ready for spring coming soon and we want to grow the things that give us like nourishment so we want to really nourish plant the things we want to grow in a new year and nourish ourselves so you want to grow the things around us that nourish us we want to um clear away obstacles clear away dead wood clear away you know pests and parasites and viruses and you know clutter you know reorganize our home all these things are tied in with the psychological healing that takes place you know during this time of year um 
which is why I think autumn is one of my favorite times of the year. Um, cause it's the, it's the time of harvesting and reflection and then we rest and recollect and, um, reminisce and, and then spring comes back around we come back and we have rebirth and resurrection. So I, uh, and going through the process with you guys, of course. That's why I am sharing this. Um, and I'm very optimistic, even though, you know, it's okay to be optimistic and still have cloudy days. Yeah, I live, I live in the PNW, so rain is a constant thing, but you can't let it get you down just because it's raining, because it rains like almost every day out here, at least during this time of year for sure. So. Don't let the outside weather get you down. You know, you have your, you have control of your thermostat, of your internal thermostat. And just keeping in mind the things you can't control is, is vital. And keeping in mind how you impact your surrounding environment is important to remember. And also just knowing that nothing's perfect, nobody's perfect. Um, mistakes happen, accidents happen, um, we fail, but that doesn't stop us ever. And honestly, like, if you're working your, bu your butt off really good and really hard, just like, you know, just believe in yourself, seriously, like, have faith in yourself. Because, like, there's no one else out there who's going to have faith in you. A lot of people out here probably have less faith in you than you think. But we're not going to worry about that. We're going to worry about having faith in ourselves. Because we are the ones who are controlling our lives. Who direct our lives. We're the ones walking on these feet on this path. You know? Family, friends. You know? Co-workers. Classmates. It doesn't matter. Like, they're not in your brain. They're not controlling you. Even though you may feel like their thoughts invade yours or their words have invaded your thoughts. Do some spring cleaning. <laughs> Do some spring cleaning and get those ghosts out your mind because that's that can really hold you back if you're hearing voices that aren't yours. Um, and... And really speak to yourself more. That's what the silence is important for. To, to really speak to yourself more. And you start identifying those negative phrases that stick out. Or um, memories that are creating um, stuck points and slippery points. And just... Work on the concentration and meditation. Those are two different things. Meditation is coming into alignment with your mind and your body and your spirit and your breath. Concentration is really working the mind. Like meditation is more about relaxing the mind and allowing things to come into alignment and be at peace and stilling the waters. Concentration is very carefully stirring those waters and seeing what comes up and clearing it out. And then it's creating, it's creating your own stream of consciousness, essentially, right? Because if you're in the flow, if you're with meditation, you create the basis for the flow. And then concentration is the flow. It's like opening the flow path. I really hope that's, I really hope yeah, that's, that's clear. Um, but that's the best way I can put it right now in, this, in, these, in these words. Um, but that, that practice, the combination of those practices, um, along with 
knowledge of like hermetic law, the seven hermetic principles, just the basis of that. But I don't know. It, it all depends on what your body of knowledge already is and how much wisdom you're willing to listen to and allow to like resonate. Um, that's, that's the key part. Um, but that's all I think I need to say. And yeah, pray for yourself and be good out there to yourself. Um, yeah, much love, love yourself, love thy neighbor and check me out on AquariusUnited.org for a reading um, sometime and check the description for my links, like, subscribe, share, all the jazz, it's whatever. Peace out.